Well, guess what we're on now? <laughs> this is a bike, guys, that I've been wanting to ride for the past, oh, I don't know, two or three years, maybe longer than that. And I haven't had the opportunity until today. What's up riders, old man Ronan here and welcome back to the channel. And we're on a Kawasaki W800 and we're gonna do a first ride reaction right now. Stay tuned. Yay! Well, we're leaving uh, again, Middle Ohio Power Sports and uh, I'll tell you what, those guys are so generous. We just literally just dropped off the CLX from uh, CF Moto. And uh, one of the things I asked him, I said, man, do you have a W800 I can ride? I've been dying to ride one of these and, and actually do a comparison between the uh, the Interceptor 650 from uh, Royal Enfield. In fact, uh, that's the next bike we're picking up is the Interceptor. Now, I've ridden them before, but only for a short period of time, like a literally a 15-minute test ride. I don't do videos on those, so we're going to take the Interceptor home next week. But this video is all about my first ride reaction on the... Uh, on the W800 and uh, we're gonna put some uh, we're gonna put some specs out there right now yeah we're riding through uh, Mount Vernon here and you've seen the specs and I, I tell you I love the style this engine is probably one of my favorite looking engines of all engines because of my I don't know I love the old school look on things and uh, and I, with that outside push rod man I, <laughs> I just think it's beautiful and uh, I love the riding stance this reminds me of my old Honda and my my very first Suzuki I ever had was a GS 550 uh, it was an E it wasn't an L uh, which means the L was more of a cruiser look to it they were kind of trying to go after that Sportster market back in those days with the L series uh, and this one here is uh, is similar to the E and also my uh, my CB650 Honda that I had was more of a standard bike, but this has that retro look to it. The uh, the English look, if you will, which is similar to the Triumph and the Nortons and the BSAs and, of course, now the Royal Enfield, the Interceptor. And uh, I, I love the sound of it. Uh, the uh, the bars are little 7.8s, which I get a kick out of. I haven't seen 7.8s bars in a long time. And, and uh, you know, I uh, I get a kick out of that. And the uh, the stance is nice. The Again, it's upright. And so my first reaction is I, I really like the stance. The seat is really comfortable. And uh, I have to say, coming from the, the uh, CLX. Nice. <laughs> Man, oh, Manischewitz, that's all I'll say. Uh, but uh, smooth, this engine is, it sounds nice. And it's, you know, of course, it's, it's that style of bike, so it's going to be nice and nimble anyway. But I'm, I'm uh, I, I, again, I'm, I'm kind of like a little kid right now because I really do enjoy this style of motorcycle. So this is more of a, this is more of a, uh, party time for old man Ronan because I get a chance to ride these these uh, these motorcycles and really do get a kick out of them and what can I say <laughs> well what I've noticed as far as city riding uh, the transmission is very very smooth um, it, it does remind me a lot oh man look at that oh that's how balanced this bike is I was able to just uh, sit there come to a stop and sit without even putting my feet down for a half a second there and uh, that's Talk about balanced. This bike is very well balanced. Because I know it's not me. <laughs> I do like the way it sounds. It's nice and quiet. You know, uh, I, I, as a Harley guy, I've got loud bikes. And there's times and places for that. And the time for this is nice and quiet. Nice and easy ride. I, uh, I, I love parallel twins anyways. Almost as much as I do V-twins. And singles. Throttles up nice. It's nice and easy. I'd say easy peasy. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's not going to be a super fast motorcycle. I knew all that, but that's not what it's for. Uh, I'm doing what 55 miles an hour at 3,000 RPM. Uh, nice and smooth. No shaking in the uh, front end. No wobble. No tank slappers, baby. We don't like tank slappers. Last motorcycle I had it was a bad tag tank slapper was a Triumph. 
but uh, that was uh, that was not Triumph's fault. Wasn't my fault either. I'll just let it at that. I'll just let it go at that. But like I said, it uh, first ride reaction, smooth. I get a little buzzing in the handlebars. Uh, I I did notice that, and a little buzzing in the seat at uh, 3,500 RPM. We'll see if that eases out any. I'm doing 60 right now. I mean, it, the, the, the acceleration on this is so easy, you don't realize how fast you're going because it is nice and easy. It's not like not like coming off those uh, naked bikes where you hit the throttle and you're, boom, you're gone. This thing here uh, just throttles up nice and easy, and I, I really enjoy that. I, like I say, I do notice vibration in the handlebars a little bit, not, not a deal breaker, a little bit in the seat and a little bit in my pegs. So I am getting a little bit of that. Handles beautifully though, for what it is. It, hand, it handles for what it is, a more of a standard style bike, retro standard. I would say though, and this is an honest opinion, the classic 350 vibrates less. That little 350 single man is bulletproof. Well, not really bulletproof. I mean, if you shot it, it'd be, that'd be bad. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's, I mean, it is very, very smooth. So that would be my first noticeable reaction would be the fact that, I mean, it does run nice. Like I say, when I'm throttling, I'm a full throttle it. And it's, a, it's an easy climb to 70 mile an hour out of 55 right there. Nice and easy. So it's a it's a motorcycle that if you want to just relax and have a good ride, that's the one, man. It's just nice and easy. But the styling of this bike, again, I've been wanting to ride the W800 for, well, I was talking to Dave up there at Mid-Ohio, and ever since I met him, I said, man, I want to ride that W800. <laughs> and lo and behold, I talked him into it, and uh, they said they have a few up there, and so far, man, I'm really, really enjoying this. And again, well, I've literally been on it for four or five miles, so can't really say anything yet. But by the time we get home, it'll be 50, over 50 miles. It reminds me, guys, of a Triumph. The vibration in the handlebars and in the pegs and in the seat. It reminds me of my old Bonnevilles, without question. Another time machine. <laughs> I drifted her back down to 60. And again, at 60 miles an hour, let's go. We've got a little hill here, throttle it up. It's got some nice torque. It's not a jumpy throttle response. It's nice and easy. Like I said, this, I will say this bike is easy peasy, uh, similar to what the, uh, the Meteor 350 is. It's easy peasy throttle response as well too. And uh, even though it's got a lot more CCs to it and, and uh, a lot, well I shouldn't say significant, it's about twice the horsepower. I think the horsepower in this is in the 40s, which is similar to what the uh, Interceptor uh, 650 and the Continental GT are. Uh, so it's an 800cc engine with similar horsepower as what, uh, and torque as what the uh, 650s do as far as for Royal Enfield. And, and that's, that's a cool point, actually. It's a cool point. So it's more, more equally, uh, which is why I'm doing the, inter, uh, the comparison down the road between the Continental and this uh, W800. But I love, I mean, dude, I'm in heaven. I really love this motorcycle's looks. And of course, it, again, if you're, if you're a child of the 60s and 70s like I am, and you're used to riding bikes from that era. This is it. This is it. Braking. Oh yeah. Nice braking. I wanted to see there before we got up the intersection. Let's come to a hard stop. Oh yeah. Brakes are great. But you know, I expect that from Kawasaki. I expect a good braking. That's one of the things they're kind of known for. <laughs> Dependability and, and easy ease of stop and quality of craftsmanship. Going over little bumps like that, no problem whatsoever. Suspension seems nice. This is another bike. It's not a speed demon. When you know when you see the number 800, this has this has what 100 cc's more than that. Uh, 
CF Moto that I was riding here the other day. And it's that's not what it's about. This bike is about retro cool. And again, I'm gonna say similar to what the uh, uh, some you know the Tri Bonnevilles or the uh, the Royal Enfield in particular, the Continental and the uh, and the Interceptor, and of course the Classic and even the Meteor. It uh, they're not about high speeds. They're not about high horsepower. They're about ease of ride and easy peasy riding. And and, and the older I get, guys, uh, the more I'm into that. Uh, you know, I do like to go fast once in a while, and I I'm, I'm the first to admit that. I tell you what. The brakes may be the best part of this motorcycle so far. They are sure and quick. They will stop you on a dime. It does have some good acceleration. So you can't say that it is a, it's a slacker. It's just smooth and easy. Oh, this bike is fun. It, uh, this is another time machine. I mentioned it before. This is definitely another time machine. It brings me back to uh, to, this, to my Suzuki's and Hondas of the early days. Not necessarily the Harley Davidson because uh, that's a completely different animal altogether. But as far as uh, you know, like uh, like the GSs and the CBs that I had, uh, suspension is tight. I expect that. But again, get back to my point there because we had a pretty good sized bump. Uh, it wasn't jarring. And I attribute that to not only a good suspension here, but also the seat. This seat is pretty comfortable. Uh, when I got up to uh, drop off that C, uh, that uh, CLX, I had a numb butt. No! <laughs> my butt's numb! Yeah, I'm enjoying it, guys. So I would say my first ride reaction is, man, I'm going to give it a big thumbs up because I'm really enjoying this. And it, part of that, you know, it may change in my first impressions. But part of that, I have to be 100% honest with you, is the fact that I've been wanting to ride this bike for so long and I've got the opportunity. So there's a little bit of emotion there for me. I really do love, of all the retro Japanese style bikes, I think this is the prettiest one by far. And uh, I'm not disappointed whatsoever. This motorcycle is fun and it's easy, it's, it's, it's smooth. Uh, as far as as far as the handling and things like that uh, like I said you do get a little vibration in the handlebars uh, which it brings you right back to the 60s man because <laughs> you got vibration in the handlebars back then too and of course the seat and the pegs but I just know do notice that the lower rpms the uh, obviously the vibration and the pegs go a little bit away but not the handlebars I'm still feeling that all the way through I don't know how that would be on a long distance ride because uh, uh, being an older guy like that, when I get a lot of vibration in handlebars, like when I'm riding my older Harley Davidsons, uh, they do have a tendency to make my hands go a little sleepy. If you know what I mean, guys, I hope you can relate. If you do, comment below. Tell me if you uh, relate to that, that your hands go to sleep when you get too much vibration in the handlebars. Man, riding through here, it's just beautiful countryside. And hey, hey, did you see that? That's right guys, we're in the middle of our Dura Coating Waxes and Polishes giveaway. And if you are a subscriber to the channel, make a comment below and also send me an email to oldmanronan at gmail.com. You're in the running for one of these exciting polishes and waxes. I, I, you guys have seen in my other bikes how I've restored a lot of the Harley Davidsons over the last few years. And uh, I'll tell you what guys, I, without Dura Coating, my bikes wouldn't look near as good as what they do. And again, some of the some of the uh, motorcycles, particularly like the Road King, that's all original paint. And uh, I was able to bring that shine out to make it look like it was brand new clear coat on it, which there's not. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button, share and comment. You know, I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys, ride safe, and keep her on two wheels, baby. And you know what? Get out there and test ride a W800. They're a blast.